Out of glory of it. All right, so boom, it's your favorite YouTuber. You just don't know it yet. And I did what you guys all thought I would do and the mic was not on, but I didn't get too far into it. So we're okay a little bit, but anyways, but hold on, the light's not on. I'm just all over the place, bro. It doesn't make a huge difference, but you know, we got a little light skin, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. So first and foremost, these were the, um, these Under Armour Spotlight Lux MCLEs were sent to me by eSpace, so big shout outs to them. Uh, so the video that you guys saw like previously, the unboxing I had like a couple weeks ago or however long ago it was, last week, I don't even remember, but it's gonna be, it's it's those, it was those cleats, and I actually made a video on the suede releases from 2018, from you a couple years ago, and these are the new ones that dropped this year. So eSpace sent the package and they said, hey, how you feel about these? And then so that's how this video came up. So yeah, so just like how Nike has their Vapors, um, Adidas has their Eddie Zeros, Under Armour has their Spotlights. They come out with multiple releases, not for anything too different, but it's a lot of cosmetic differences. Like the base model ones are a little cheaper. They don't have the gold bottoms. Um, there's the suede releases that are different from the LEs, which are a different uh, they have the gold bottoms and they're a different kind of uh they have different designs it's kind of stuff like the red white and blue it's not like a it's kind of like wrapping your cleat instead of having like a design and the suede is like a cheetah print looking suede design also real quick before we get all the way into the review go ahead and check the description down below and go ahead and get 10 percent off invictusgloves.com and go ahead and you know when you go there go buy some fire gloves and then let them know that you know your boy sent you so and i know i know you guys are busy i know you guys probably got a lot going on so for a gift from me to you today in today's video is i'm just give y'all five seconds to like and sub on the video because there is 90 percent of you guys that are not there's over 90 percent of you guys that aren't subbed and that's but anyways, like I said, I'm gonna give y'all five seconds just to, you know, a courtesy from me to you, five seconds to the subs, to go ahead and like the video and sub to the channel. Shout out swag. All right, so boom. So uh, as I stated earlier, these cleats are the annual releases uh, for Under Armour, their low top, big brands, basic low top releases and Under Armour's new ones this year is again, their spotlights. And as I also stated before, they do come out with different releases, different versions every year. And they have the base model. Uh, I think it's just like, it's called the Under Armour Spotlight. It just doesn't have the Lux. And then there's the LEs. Then there's the suede releases. And so all of these are the same traction. Um, there's no gold plating on the bottom of the base ones. And then the second two, the higher trims, like a car, I guess, the higher two trims have the gold plating on the bottom and have a different, um, like the suede is obviously suede. And then the other ones are kind of like a wrap, you know, different design. And these cleats have what Under Armour calls uh, super foam. And then also really quick, before we get into the pros and cons, this was a first impression. So when I, when you saw, what you saw just now was my first time putting the cleats on. And I wore thick socks just just to wear thick socks. Cause you, you know, you when you break in new cleats, they get, they're a little stiff. So I wanted to wear thick socks to protect myself or protect myself. The cleats were gonna attack me, I guess. But you know what I mean? I wore thick socks just to, for more comfortability. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I brought that up is because it, it get it gets into the pros and cons. First pro, the weight. I honestly never knew Under Armour was, you know, everyone's making lighter cleats ever since Addy Zeros and people try to make it as thin as they can, as light as they can. And then, so when I was doing research on this, I looked up, uh, I looked up these cleats on East Bay. I went to the website and I was just looking and on there, one of the description tags is 10.5 ounces. So I was like, why is, why is that there? I did more research on the Vapor Edge 360 Pros, which were my number one cleat uh, in the last year. And those cleats were 11.3 ounces. So they're lighter than Nike cleats. Obviously they don't weigh as light as, you know, Addy Zeros, which are like seven ounces, but they're a lot lighter than your Nike cleats, which is, you know, I think it's something worth noting. And with less fabric and material, when you do make things lighter, you know, comfortability does get sacrificed. And I think that Under Armour with this cleat kept enough fabric to keep the comfortability as as well as taking away some material to make the cleat lighter. And speaking of comfortability, that's my next pro. The super foam material inside doesn't like squeeze your foot to just make it feel like a tight sock in there or anything, which is kind of the feel that I get in the Vapor Pro 360s. In these cleats, the super foam is in specific spots in the shoe 
shoe, just like how before I complained about the older cleats, it was like a bar on the heel and it was tight and it didn't feel good and it was like super uncomfortable. This one, they wrapped a super foam piece around the heel where exactly, literally exactly where I said that it was a problem. So again, these this super foam technology does increase its comfortability as well as its stability in the cleat because it kind of caresses your foot, I guess. And then also too, I really do like the look of these cleats. You know, the elephant in the room, Under Armour doesn't get, you know, the best shine for their football gear besides their literal Under Armours and stuff. These cleats don't look bad. You know, what I had out there, I like, I personally liked, I thought they were super dope. Maybe it's because I'm a Captain America fan, I don't know. That part is, you know, subjective. You can get different, different designs. You can get the suede's or you can get the the base ones that are like all white or all black, which are fire too. The cleat look itself, like just the, having that low top look with the ankle support, cause it looks like a low top shoe, you know? The Vapor Pro 360s don't look like a low top. They look like a mid top. They kept these cleats to a low top, which is what I really like. And I always do like low top cleats, but I've always wanted, you know, the ankle support and the way they made it look is it looks like a regular low top shoe, but it has an ankle support. So I really like the way they look. And y'all know how I feel about the suede releases. Those are fire looking. So East Bay, if y'all wanna send another package with those cleats. Um, cons, off rip, I did notice that the fabric on the outside of the cleat, not that these obviously aren't the suede ones, but the fabric, I don't know exactly what it was. I don't even know how to explain it, but it was like a stiffer material. And whenever I was on my toes, you can literally see like already where the, uh, I just shook the camera, I'm sorry. You can literally see like where the creases are beginning to form because it's such a stiff material. Like, yes, I know that they're brand new cleats, but the material, like literally the material itself is a stiff material. Creasing them can come pretty quickly, honestly, and after a few wears, you can start to notice. Um, but again, you know, to refute this con, bro, get the suede releases. The suede releases are, you know, suede doesn't crease like how, like, I don't even know what the, material is it was like a, a plastic kind of i don't know um also as i stated about my thick sock so i am a size 11 and these were size 11s but depending on the shoe it'll feel like different like obviously yes these are brand new cleats so they have to get broken in which is why i wore the thicker socks but it was so snug around i think it became like a breathability issue I don't know, I have to wear it a few more times and like actually look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was a breathability issue because it was so tight inside. There was no airflow inside to kind of make my feet feel like free while being snug, I guess. It's kind of like being tucked up in like a tight blanket, like one of those thick blankets, like you get uncomfortable in there because you, you know, there's no airflow. But yeah, that's how my feet feel in there. Um, and as, as you guys saw in the performance test, I kept the slip in there for a reason. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If I get sent stuff, I'm still not gonna lie to y'all about it. I did slip, now yes, that was a drill that I was playing on the same spot over and over again. So that does play, that I will acknowledge that factor. The traction on these cleats, they're not bad, but they're not great. So like they're kind of middle of the road. So you will have some slips. I left it in there cause it, it happened bro, it happened. These cleats are like a renovated house. And you know, the house before it got renovated, it's not the greatest, you know, it literally served as like the bare minimum. It's just the roof over a family's head, right? Family or the house just got tired of being that old house on the block and they decided to renovate, you know, change a couple things. And from the outside looking in, no one really cares that the house got renovated. For the people that it's serving as a home for and the people that go in and try the house out, they're impressed with the improvements made in the house and the improvements done year by year. It adds up and it becomes a really quality, you know, up-to-date house. And not everyone's gonna notice it, not everyone's gonna try it, but if you give it a shot, I think you would be impressed. Again, y'all, over 90% of y'all are not subs, so this is another reminder to hit that sub, turn on post notifications, join the gang. I still don't have a name for us, but we gonna figure one out soon. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to DM me on IG, Twitter, send questions. Uh, you can send them in the comments. It's harder for me to get to all the comments because I turned off like my notifications because I get notifications for all my videos. So I turned it off. But again, the best way to contact me is DM me on IG, growing on there. And yeah, you, again, send questions, send highlights. We can react to highlights, send whatever. The questions don't even have to be about football. If y'all need some help, I got y'all, bro. But yeah, go ahead and find, go ahead and send anything just to get that spot on the next Q&A. And again, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one.